Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the point of view from a technician. I saw somebody discussing how to clean out a motor and they were giving all sorts of bad advice, using the wrong chemicals and so forth. And I, I want to be very clear, the, there's, there's two real proper service techniques. The first is to hand scrub it in a sink with an enzyme-based bath. The second is to use an enzyme-based bath in a dishwasher which I'll tell you works a whole lot better. So I'm gonna throw the Mila motor right in here. I'll show you how that works. We're just gonna load that up. Very, very simple here. And I'm probably gonna put the fan on the bottom section of the rack. And the bottom side of the rack, um, we're gonna put this guy on top and you want to have him just kind of just so he sits on the slant and melts anything off there now what you're not going to put in the dishwasher is the trizac board or the carbon brushes or any additional wiring we're just going to put that in there a quick cycle we'll do it on the dishwasher right there that will be done in 24 minutes, if it would focus, right there. Okay, minutes. after 24 minutes, the dishwasher cycle has stopped, and we're ready to put uh, the parts somewhere to dry. I'm just going to show kind of how this works. Uh, it smells much better. And the tape will just peel off that I put on the back, but the label will still be intact, which is what you want. So I'm just going to put that in there. My dog is very confused about what's coming out of here. He's hoping for some food bits on there. So that has deodorized that. Now, as I've got the top, and that's just fine. Now, there seems to be some confusion about the motor. Yeah, you can put the motor in there. You can even put the bearings in there. Um, you'll just want to put some water displacer and probably repack the bearings afterwards. Uh, that's it, it didn't harm anything. And Oh, it smells like plastic now. It doesn't smell like anything fuchi or anything bad, which is what you want. So and all those parts just come out like so. Nice and clean. So this comes uh, with a couple of caveats. One is when you are done, if you, the dishwasher is not a dedicated parts washer, as is what's going on in my kitchen here, uh, you want to run a cycle with the sanitize just afterwards, just to clean everything out. Um, and if you have a European style dishwasher that has the, the filter down below, you want to clean that out of course as well. Um, number two, uh, is don't try this at home really like leave this for the professionals who are familiar with breaking down the machine safely to put it in the dishwasher but I wanted to just share with it with you all the experience of really the best way to deodorize and clean out a motor or really any other part of a vacuum now the other service technique that's proper in terms of breaking down and scrubbing uh, is to use a little bit of um, Tide works pretty good. Um, you want to scrub that nice and clean. You want to avoid using things that are sticky or super heavy alkaline based like dish soap. Um, and of course you want to avoid bleach or things that aren't cleaners. Um, and then after you clean that out, then what you want to do is you want to use something like this and I'll put a link to this below. This is an enzyme based cleaner. Um, and it's really for carpet stains and stuff, but it, it helps immensely in terms of odors and stuff. So rinsing it in that afterwards in a ba bath in the sink is another way you can do this. Um, and here is another one made by Auric. Same stuff, kind of have kind of a minty smell to it. Uh, but because this has been through the dishwasher, I don't need to. So thanks for watching my how to get uh, odors out of a motor or any other part of a vacuum video, give this a thumbs up 
and definitely check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Reddit. Have yourself a wonderful day.